Councillor uh, Gary Doherty, uh, your assessment of uh, GE16 for you, your campaign, how's it gone? Campaigns went very well, actually. Um, I'm really happy with the personal vote that I got myself. Um, considering I'm a first-time general election candidate, and it's the first time I've, I've run, um, to come seventh behind the six people that I came behind, five sitting TDs and, and Pat Cope, who is a huge um, profile in Donegal and indeed nationally. I think I've got to be happy with that, to be honest with you, Greg. Um, that's to get over 4,000 first preferences as well. And still being with a shout, you know, I, I think I'm going to be there. I could be the, the last or second last eliminated if, if it works out like that. So that's... That's it. We, we don't want to jump to conclusions either because there's a lot of variables still to, to un unfold. There is, and it's, it's, it's really hard to predict at the minute. Um, to be honest with you, there's, there's, there's two Fun Valley candidates there that have around about 5,500 votes between them, and a lot of those could come to, come to myself. And then we've got the Desi Shields factor, and I don't think anybody knows where Desi's transfers are going to go. So it's, it's, I know we've said this all along, that it was going to be a really hard one to call, but... It actually is impossible to call it at, at the minute, I think. And it's been further complicated by um, Deputy Paul McLaughlin's uh, poor showing, I think, by most people's expectations. Um, you're not that far behind him yourself in, in, in reality. Um, what, what, how do you think this will? How, how do you think this reflects on Sinn Féin in Donegal? I think, to be honest, we still have a huge vote in Donegal. That's the first thing we've got to take from it. Um, some people will, will try and throw this this thing at it that, that the three candidate strategy doesn't work. I don't think it had anything to do with the three candidate strategy. To be per, to be perfectly well, honest. the figures do not sort of suggest it is a problem with the strategy. It's it, it's just for some reason the vote in shown hasn't come out in, in Porrick's favour. Yeah, and that's that's what we've got to try and figure out. Um, we're going to have to sit down and have a have a bit of a post mortem, I suppose, after the election to to, to discuss that and see, you know. There are a lot of variables in this election, and there were a lot of outside factors. Um, I can't ignore the fact that that independent news and media carried out a, a vicious campaign against Sinn Féin in particular, which may have had an effect. I don't know, but it's, we we can only speculate. But it had to have some kind of effect. Um, but also, you know, there was the Pierce factor as well. You know, Pierce is he's one of the most prominent politicians in the country, and and he had onto Parrick's vote and and then a show one as well. So. You know, there, there are a lot of things that we have to consider, but we, we'll sit down after the election and we'll, we'll discuss it and we'll, we'll definitely try and rectify it for the next election, which could be any time. Indeed. Gary Doherty, thank you very much. Thanks, Greg.